Livingston. Ariki Tan shoots. Yeah! Yeah! Build the dream in FIFA 20, pay less and get more, and use the code TVM at checkout for a bigger discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another video. Today is the day we review the 85 rated uh, flashback Theo Walcott, and of course he is available, well right now I'd say he's available for around 120 to 130,000 depending on your platform and the time of day and blah blah blah. It is currently 5 past 7 on, what day is it, Monday? Whatever day it came out, Monday, I don't know what day it is. Um, I'm, I'm about to go into my first game with him, so we're going to have a look at this completely fresh. Normally, and I think it's my first player review this year actually, that I've done uh, blind. Uh, normally when I'm talking to you now, I've played a few games already. I haven't done anything with Walcott yet. So before we jump into a few games here, let's have a look at his stats. Uh, three star, three star, not ideal. You know, four star... Weak foot would be really nice, but three star, three star is what we have. Medium, medium work rates, again, not ideal in this situation. I'd love a high attacking work rate. And 5'9", which is uh, it's fine. Moving over to the attributes. As you can see, he's on 10 chem with 100 chem in the team. 96 acceleration and sprint speed, which is up from the 87 that his, uh, his 77 rated card has. And then, of course, into the shooting stats. Not too bad, considering it's... I mean, you know, his base card, for instance, has 73 finishing. In fact, nearly everything is up by by about 9 or 10 exactly. So it's a it's a modest upgrade. I'm kind of hoping that they stick with this sort of um, upgrade criteria for the rest of the cards. His stamina on the base is actually 67. So they have boosted his stamina considerably to a usable 76. Normally, in the past, with flashback cards like this, you'd get a really nice boost across the face of everything. And then when it came to the stamina, they'd give him like three points. So kudos there that they've given him 76. I think every special card should have a minimum of 75 stamina in the game to make them usable. Because anything under that, it starts to get a bit like, oh, what's the point? But um, relatively good shooting. His passing is adequate. I think it's okay. I think with the chem style, we'd have a really nice boost there. The the main selling point of this card, combination with pace, is dribbling. You've got really high agility, decent balance, very good reactions, ball control, exceptional dribbling, and then very good composure. Again, compared to the 77 rated base card of 74 composure, that's up a lot, and I'm very happy about that. Now, in terms of a chem style, it depends on how you want to play with the card. Um, my team looks like this. It's not the best team in the world, but then again, it's not the worst either. Then Donker's going to be my CDM, and then we'll get into the rest of it in just a second. In terms of a chem style, though, uh, what I want to do, uh, there's, there's two two schools of thought on my in my uh, personal opinion. You could either go with a sniper, which would boost composure and the rest of those dribbling stats all the way up, and also you get a nice finishing boost, which is what I'm leaning towards, but I am actually going to give him a maestro. And I think that that's the chem style that most people would probably stick on, Theo. I think, um, I don't think you can go wrong with either. I won't lie to you. I think both of them are fine. Uh, so we obviously don't need to touch the pace. He's fine. We don't touch the finish in here with the Maestro, which is uh, more the pity, really, because I'd love to be able to boost that up. He's going to be getting into some goal-scoring opportunities for me, so it would be nice if he had better finishing. If if I see that I'm struggling and he just can't finish and he's getting loads of chances, I'll change it. But for right now, Maestro takes him up to 95 shot power, 83 long shots. Moving over to the passing, turns into 91. Vision's 86. His dribbling goes up by 5. So, uh, sorry, his, dr his dribbling overall goes up by... Uh, by 10, but it can only go up by 9. His ball control is up by 5. Reactions up by 5. His reactions are now 90. Combined with 94 agility, 96 acceleration and sprint speed, he is going to be like the flash. He's going to be so quick. And I can't wait to get him on the pitch. The, the the sniper chem style, incidentally, obviously doesn't touch the the passing, which is something that I think you may need to consider if you want to use him more of a either a cam or, or a drop back kind of, you know, 4 one, two, and 2 right mid. You, we, you'll need the passing, and that's where I'm going to play him for the time being. But if you want to play him as a striker in a 4 one, two, and 2 or whatever formation you want, then obviously the sniper is going to be better for you because you get 88 composure and you get 97 finishing. So like I said, I'm going to just... Have a little bit of a, a play around. I'll play a couple of games with a maestro and see how I feel. If I don't like it, I'll switch to the sniper. Play a few more games and we'll see how we get on. But uh, in terms of the custom tactics, very briefly, I've got two set up right now. The first one is this, where he is going to play as a striker, uh, right side. 
uh, up with Halle. Not that I'm a big fan of Halle, but I don't have uh, a better striker. Tim, actually, Timo Puki I do have, but he'll drop into the midfield. The other iteration that I have of this formation is with Walcott as a cam. I think I'll swap. Uh, I think I'm actually going to swap Walcott and, and Salah around in that and use Salah as a cam and use Walcott as a right mid which is what he's intended to be played as but I think the striker is where he'll really come into his own especially if my opponents play a high line they are going to be punished but without any further ado let's get into the gameplay so my opponent for this game has a interesting team I was gonna say full Premier League but he switched it up a little bit in the midfield and he goes back into Gabriel Jesus um, it's it's a nice team though. It's very well built considering it's uh, it's probably very cheap apart from Gabriel Jesus of course. The same Walcott through here against the keeper goal. Theo Walcott on the score sheet in two minutes, and you could I mean my opponent has barely touched the ball. In fact, he has not even tried to touch the ball. He just hasn't played so far. Um, the game is very laggy. I don't know whether he's having issues. I just wanted to test out his pace and his finishing and. So <laughs> In the first two minutes, I can tell that he's unbelievably quick. And his finishing is okay. Salah, Walcott inside. Madison wants it. I've actually tried to send Walcott, but he didn't listen. There goes Haller. Walcott started the move. Haller's effort is awful. There's uh, Madison's header inside. There's Salah, Walcott. 1-2 with Haller. He's got the... the oh, look at the pace. And he's missed. And that is why a sniper might be beneficial I've tried to hit that near post and he's gone straight at the keeper so maybe maybe signs that a sniper might be needed already here here's Haller Walcott around the outside could maybe try and play it into feet I think he's offside anyway to be fair but uh, Walcott's pace just gets him in behind this Salah little heel to heel from Walcott effort side netting Walcott through the middle you're not going to catch him this is why I really really like him and he's well, he has to score there. Madison. Walcott through the middle again, and you're not going to catch him. He's going to burn the defender. And lovely goal. Really good finish. Maybe you don't have an argument for the sniper chem style. Uh, I don't know. Uh, at the moment, the jury's still out. To be fair, this is only the first game I've played. 34 minutes in. It's a great finish from Theo Walcott, but there's absolutely no catching him. And that's him in a striker position with a high line. And I said it. Uh, it's dangerous. Salah. Then, no, Fernandez, sorry. This is Walcott. Heel to heel from Walcott. He's in on goal. Goes round the outside of the keeper. And Leno's made another save. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying shots that, honestly, in weekend league, were going in. Uh, so I'm not happy with the consistency levels of Walcott shooting at the moment. A lot of power. Free kick. Oh, it's in. And that is a fantastic free kick from Theo Walcott. I don't score many of them. I do hit the target a fair bit, but the accuracy on that was brilliant. So uh, you get that with, of course, the Maestro Chem style. That's something you wouldn't get with the sniper. So I've been bitching about it the entire game. Maybe you do need a sniper. But then from dead ball situations like that, that's a great free kick. This is Walcott. Be careful of the pace. He's in. Walcott near post. Oh, he doesn't need near post. He goes far post. I actually, I accidentally did that. I did go across him, but I didn't mean to. I still haven't switched the chem style, by the way. It's my third game with him. And um, I don't know. It, maybe it was, I think I was just using the wrong shot type. I actually slipped then because I went to go near post. I slipped and I went far post and it went into the top bins. That's a great finish. Madison. Haller on the ball from Walcott, waiting to play it back to him. There it is. He's in on goal. He's not going to miss, surely. Keeper's made another great save. The rebound is over the bar. I think I'm making the wrong decisions in terms of shooting. I think I might be panicking a little bit because I've got so many time. It's like so many so much time on the ball. I I can't make up my mind what I want to do. Little one-two here. Ball through the middle. There's Haller. Why have you used your left? I've tried to do a first-time finesse with his right foot, that he is right-footed, and he's absolutely fluffed it. For some reason, he's used his wrong foot. His Pookie through to and Diddy into the middle. Salah, Madison, Walcott, little one-two here with Fraser. Well, he took his time, didn't he, Fraser? He's got it back to Theo Walcott. Goal! That is pace. 
And that is a counter-attack and a half. We got countered. Atal down the left. He was so fast. We stole it back with Cresswell. And it was just like lightning. And Fraser and Walcott up top together are deadly. Because they've got so much pace. And I, I would argue that before the sniper chem style was applied. Walcott would have missed that. And that was a three-star weak foot finish as well. And Diddy. Pookie. Salah. Well, I was poor. Just too lackadaisical really. This is Walcott. Fraser back through to Walcott, round the outside of the keeper, and that is what I'm talking about. Walcott's finishing, and my opponent leaves, and that's the, the second rage quit in a row. Um, the, the sniper chem style, 100% better than the maestro if you use Walcott in a position where he's going to get goal scoring opportunities time and time again. That's the second rage quit in a row, and it's the second time that Walcott has consistently put the ball in the back of the net with those one on one situations. And I can't say any more than that, really. I mean, I've, I've tested this vigorously because it's not only a review that I want to get right, but it, it's a, it, it was a, a, um, a, a test almost because I want to know if he's worthy of being on my road to glory, if he's worth the coins. Um, but before we get to that, because that's going to be a matter of opinion more than anything else, uh, let me address a few elephants in the room. Medium, medium work rates. Is that a problem? No, not if you tell him to stay forward, overrides it. He's essentially got a high attack in work rate. Happy days. And getting behind, of course. Brilliant. Uh, next up, does the height matter? No, if anything, that helps because it's not that big a deal this year if you don't have a, uh, a tall player. In fact, I prefer smaller players this year because of the agility boost and the fact that dribbling is so, not overpowered, but effective. Um, speaking of dribbling, he has that in abundance regardless whether you use a sniper or a maestro. He's able to dribble literally rings around his op opponent. Uh, one small complaint, really, and this is going to sound stupid, but sometimes he can feel too fast. Especially if you hold down the sprint button uh, too t too much, he can feel like he can't turn properly because he's running too quick. So just bear that in mind that sometimes you're going to have to just slow down to make a turn because otherwise the ball's going to go all over the place. But, you know, that's a, that's a small complaint. Once you learn how to adapt to that, you'll be fine. Three star, three star is an issue. Uh, sometimes the weak foot can feel very bad, which you'd expect it to. Uh, so that's a bit annoying. If you like skills, obviously you're not going to be able to do them here. But to be fair, the trade-off between the dribbling and the skills, I think, is fair. If this was 4-star, four 4-star, four and as good as it is, 120k would be a steal. Uh, but for 120,000 coins, you are getting a super, super fast player with insane close ball control. And there aren't that many negatives to speak of, really. You can override the work rate. That's not a problem. The, the skills and the weak foot, for me, the skills this year, you don't need four star. There are plenty of decent three star skills you can use. Just left stick dribbling in general is so effective that I don't think you really need them. Uh, but of course, if you are a skiller, then that will 100% be a negative, whichever way you look at it. Uh, but in all honesty, the sniper chem style improves that finish in tenfold. I didn't have a single problem or their complaint, really, after I switched the chem styles from Maestro to Sniper. I knew I should have gone with my, my gut instead of my head. And um, that Sniper really does make a difference. And, and that's the one I'm going to keep on him. The passing is good if you've got him, you know, as a right mid in a 4 one 2 and 2 narrow or something. Uh, fine, you know, I can understand them. But because he was getting just so many goal-scoring opportunities for me... Uh, with the sniper chem style, it just made more sense to improve the finishing. I really like the card, and to be fair, for 120k, I'd say he's in and around where I would expect to pay for him. If it was on the market, however, I would say maybe 70, 80,000 coins is where I would expect to pay for him. Um, maybe. I don't think it's badly priced, if I'm honest. I think it's fair, especially with the, the packs you get back. I mean, I didn't get anything good in mind, but your your case might be different i like it though i think it's a great card i really really do if you have enjoyed the player review hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and until the next time goodbye football index the game changed download the app now